it's crashing. He hit that wall for sure. Oh, he went over the wall. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is up guys and welcome to day three of Sick Week 2023. We are at South Georgia Motorsports Park. Everybody you see behind me had to make a drive from Bradyton and then before Bradyton they had come from Orlando. So every car in the pits today has about 500 street miles on it. They weren't easy miles either. Before people even left the track on day one, there was 20 cars out. I don't know how many cars are out now, but quite a few, not as many as started. We started with about 320 cars. A few updates, our number one overall was Tom Bailey, but he did not make it, discovered some transmission issues after we left, was not able to fix it. So that means the Swedes in the S10 actually bump up to number one. They have a 640 something average overall. And then behind them is the other Swedes in the C4 Corvette. If you guys watched yesterday's video, you will know that the C4 Corvette blew its own door off. So they have to find a door before they make a pass today. Have not seen either of the Swedes show up but they have about an hour till I think the big guys go up. Another car to note, McFlurry, our buddy Cletus. McFlurry did not make it last night. Uh, they actually tried to go get Cletus's Turbo S for, for James to drive. Turbo S blew a tire. That's not even gonna make it. So with that being said, we're gonna go around the pit, see who made it, see all the carnage from the road last night. And then we're taking some racing action here in a few minutes. Number one overall is here and number two overall is here. Looks like they got a door. So you got a door. Yeah. Did you guys just fix the door you had or what? Yeah. Gotcha. How was the drive for you guys last night? Uh, it was good. Yeah. Was left early on, uh, it was like seven hours. It was a long one. Well, you made it here. You're number. Are you number two overall? Good luck today, man. Yeah. Thank you. With a 640 what average? No, 48. I don't know exactly. 40 something. What are we doing today? What's the goal? What's the game plan? Trying to do uh, 635 or something. Just one and done. Get out of here. Get on the Hopefully, road. Hopefully, yeah. How was the truck on the road last night? Any issues well, or anything? No, not really. It's boring. We're just boring. Boring, drive. bro. Hi. You Swedes are making this stuff look easy. Can you make yeah. it look a little tough? Yeah, we did run out of gas on the highway once, though. Okay. Okay. You guys <laughs> had some struggles. Yeah. All right. Well, congrats on currently number one yeah. overall. Good luck Thanks. today, man.
another sweet team shows up. They did a 690 on seven and a half cylinders yesterday. Are we still at seven and a half cylinders? Or are we bumping up to eight today? No, we stayed seven and a half. Seven and a half? Another six today? Hey, eh, maybe it's seven and three quarter. Another six today. All right, buddy. Good luck. Hey. on day one and I showed you guys Cletus's trailer then, but drag and drive is one of the most important thing for some of these bigger cars is their trailer, how the trailer set up, what they can haul, how easy it is to get to everything, because some of these guys have to work on their shit on the side of the road and you gotta, have, you gotta be able to get to your tools quick and easily. The more drag and drive events that you do, your trailer will get better as you go. The tailors are proof of that. I wanna show you guys their trailer right now. All right, Alex, I explained to the people at home that yes. when you do enough drag and drives, your trailer gets better and better and better. I think this is pretty much the pinnacle of where you can get at this point. Take us a walk around your trailer. Yeah, Show so uh, this was this started from the bones of our previous trailer. Uh, this is Alex Taylor, and welcome to my trailer crib here. <laughs> uh, so this is my favorite side, so we're really starting with the, the good stuff. Okay. Um, so this was, we had, the, Dad built this trailer a couple years ago, and it was like, it didn't have these side doors, you had to put everything in the toolboxes, and yep. it sucked. So, earlier last year, he decided to totally like, reskin this thing, he thought it was gonna be a weekend project. It turned into a three week deal. Um, so, ripped all the skins off, restructured it, so instead of having to have any tools and toolboxes, we just went on a major harbor freight shopping trip, I had like two carts, and like, all of these tools stay in the trailer permanently. So I went through and made like, magnetic holders and everything so like oh you need a 5 8 here you go I don't have to go dig it's nice this right. is literally set up to work on your stuff on the side of the road and oh, not yeah. have to go through toolboxes oh, yeah. or nothing. Now, so then coming back here, we have two stories. Two stories. Two stories. So used to, the trailer was only about this high. So dad extended it up. And so used to, the lids open like this, the tra the tire sat on top. So anytime you want something out, you had to take the tires off, unstrap oh, it and everything. Geez. And then when you go into the hotel at night, you'd see us like rolling, you know, giant Mickey yeah, Thompson's along. Yeah, yeah. Sucked. So anyways, we slide the two uh, slicks into here. Okay. We have two jack stands because we don't have pro jacks, we have ho jacks. <laughs> They're Harbor Freight jacks and we just jack them up and put jack stands under. Coming down to our second level, our first level, we have fire single shirt, spare CO2 bottle. We keep uh, two totes just of spare parts and stuff. Gotcha. Um, uh, final side over here in the crib. This is our consumable side. So we have all of our oil. Um, I'm proud of this. It it's looks a, nice. Oh, that's your car. <laughs> I didn't. I just. I was. That's awesome. You have your own. You have your own oil. The Alex Taylor blend. That's freaking awesome. That's what made me these bottles for like this this custom blend fence oil that I run. So that's like. I, I like that. That's my one of my favorite touches. Oh, that's a flex right there. <laughs> um, and then just like random stuff like Scotch Brite, sandpapers, brushes, markers, any kind of like you know sealant stuff like that. Um, yeah. And so then that's pretty much. Oh wait, it's even decked out. Hang on. 
Okay, Peter, one more slip. What we got? With Mickey Thompson, front runners, and Bill and Oh, yeah. I didn't notice that. I mean, will, no. those, will those go on the car if need be? Um, it's better than not having them. There you go. There, there you go. go. There you go. Anyways, um, that's the tour. Hope you guys enjoyed my crib. L literally, guys that come on their first one, little trailer, they think you got everything they need. And then once you've done, what, like 10 of them at this point? I think I'm coming up on 20. Yeah, you're up there. You get more experience. You get something you way easier to work with. And it's right crazy because, like, like, Doc over here, he still puts everything in his car. And that's I started like that with my 68 Camaro, yep. everything in the trunk. And I was like, I'm not ever pulling a trailer. And then, like, we went to a little bit of a trailer, and now I'm like, heck yeah. We you couldn't it. live without a trailer now. There's yeah, no okay. way. So, well, anyways. thank you for the tour of your trailer. Thank you for visiting. Good luck today. Are we going to see another six? I never want to jinx myself. Um, you know, that's my only thing. So I'm like, I'm going to say, I hope the problem continues to stay fixed. Okay. All right. I'll be rooting for another six for you guys. Good luck. Hopefully we see a one and done. Thank you. All right. Hopefully. See you, Alex. See, ya. see you, Dennis. See you. Here's Alex Taylor. see a car that you didn't see the past few days but you know they've been on the whole thing a couple cars like that in the pits right now we're gonna go through the staging lanes and get some rundown on this thing all right i've seen this thing the past three days i got to know the story on it it's a lifted crown vic what's the setup under the hood we have a it's an ls it's a six liter ls okay. with a comp 78 millimeter turbo 78 turbo yep. six liter six what liter. kind of power are we working with uh, it makes roughly 850 to the tire. Really? Okay. That's through these tires and a pretty loose converter. So uh, around 1200 to the crank. Oh, okay. What are we doing uh, ET wise? What do you think? ET wise, thing? we're targeting about a 1010. Okay. Uh, okay. With a dial your own class. Uh, we went a 996 on the first day. Of yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, there's more in it for sure. We're backing it way down. Just kind of staying that, in that zone. So. You're trying a 10 0 class or yeah, right hand side. Michael Turner. What are the seats out of? They're the RX 18. Oh, okay, Matt told me that. Like, there's no way. But I see the triangles definitely yep. are XA. We will bring up our next pair. Well, good luck. Hope we see a one and done 10 0 something. Open. All right, buddy. Good luck. Thank you. For Adam Dory and for Sam Shia. It goes to one of my favorite cars, the Lifted Crown Vic with the LS Turbo Power Plant. This guy has been running 10 teams all week with this puppy. He's in the dial your own class and neither me or him are entirely sure. second off of that. Probably be happy with that pass, but 11's no good. All right, guys, we're going to take a minute and remind you that we do have a merch store, 1320video.com slash shop. 
We have everything from t-shirts, hoodies, hats, glasses, lanyards, stickers, anything you'd think of. We got t-shirt that says electric cars have no soul, American flag turbo drip. We have anything you'd think of. Go to 1320video.com slash shop, go shopping, and come back and watch some race cars in a little bit. Here's Cooper. Looks like Cooper will be going up against this beautiful 57 Chevy. to brag a lot but I am rolling in a Bugatti this week it's a real Bugatti it's licensed and everything and it's because of Cooper Baghetti that I have a Bugatti this week so we're gonna check in with him see how his first pass went. all right Mr. Baghetti how we doing not so hot what so that well, was a little slower than normal that's what? actually a um, weird way I said that but it got really hot on that pass and then on the return road it started to overheat uh oh so hopefully it didn't nick a head gasket on me I was gonna say that that sounds like a bad that not not a great issue uh, uh, it doesn't sound fun so what's the game plan I don't know let it cool off before I can diagnose anything good call it's very hot but I have a slip two-handed there you go there you go well I'll check back with you an hour or two whatever yep again I'd say thank you to you and Bronte anytime for getting me the Bugatti for the week I not I can't afford to replace it. Of course, it's a Bugatti, so I appreciate you trusting me with it. I haven't put a single scratch on it yet, so you're good. She looks, she looks just like I lent her to you. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. Well, well, I'm gonna diagnose, luck. and hopefully, I can make it to Gainesville because this is maximum far from my house. <laughs> oh, it really, it really is. <laughs> it really is. All right, man. Good luck. Thank you. Is this your co-driver co today? It is. Something. Sketchy Vert's in the house. I mean, I'm here. I'm helping this. I'm trying to help this guy as much as I can. But. Yep. A car that you guys I'm sure know, but we have not checked in with is Cowboy Up Nova. Let's go check in with it right now. How we doing, fellas? Very good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You guys have quietly just gone in every track, made it look easy. It's like you guys have done dragon drives before or something. It hasn't been easy. <laughs> I left the plug wire number one just uh, snapped on the coil and laying on the header to burn off yesterday. So it no. went 754. Was on seven? At 177 on seven. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. What's the goal with Cowboy Up today? Um, I don't know. I'll turn in a slip if it goes under 750. Okay. All right. I just got to keep trucking. All right. I didn't finish drag week, so I got to finish my next. You there know, you go. I gotta there you go. That's rules right there. Cowboy up, Nova. AMC Javelin. Line here, it looks like. 
If you guys haven't watched our other videos this week, this happens to be the quickest and fastest first in the world. Uh, it's our buddy Jason, he's been driving on Dragon Drives for five, six, seven, something like that years. He went from a big F2 Pro Charger in the off season to twin turbos, and he's gone a lot faster. On day one, he did an 8.1. Yesterday he did an 8 -0. Today, I'm not saying he's gonna do a seven, but I'd love to see this thing do a seven. Let's go check it real quick. Jason. Once again, I need the right. eight one. Yes. Eight oh. Yes. That's only like you gotta step down every day. Hey, there's right? a trend here. Right. What's yeah. the game plan today with the hearse? Eight. Just the eight oh, that's all you wanna do? I mean if it decides to do a seven, I'm not gonna be if angry. If it decides do you have a scramble button on it? I do, but we haven't hooked it up yet, but I may or may not have gotten into the boost table. Oh! <laughs> so, so you did how much? You did an 8-0 on how many pounds yesterday? 20. Just 20. It was 20 and went to 21.5 was all. Um, you, do you like the new turbo setup then? I'm loving it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this week has already been a win for me, as far as I'm concerned. So, those are was that back to back personal best too? Yes. On a dragon drive, which yes. is unheard of. First two passes, full passes with turbos. That's awesome. Never made a full pass with them before. And... That's crazy. <laughs> well, can't believe it. see the car's doing well. It made it. it made it all the way to South Georgia. Yep. Uh, got there, get an eight. And we'll see you later, buddy. Thanks. with the weird cars too. How's the Triumph doing? So far, so good. What's the goal today? Something in the eights, I guess. Just another eight? Yeah, I'd be happy with anything in the eight. I'm gonna try and do the same tune-up as I had yesterday, which probably could go about 850, somewhere around in there. If it hooks up, it goes well, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. How was this thing on the road last night? It drives good. It's a little warm. We went through some crazy, crazy traffic. Oh, we yeah, I mean, same. Was awful. We sat at this where we sat still for like 45 minutes at one point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were, I mean, we were sitting there for like four hours. It took us 10 hours to go from. I don't even remember where we left yesterday. Bradington. <laughs> Bradington. We were in Bradington yesterday. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we got back at like 1 1:30 a.m. Jeez. Got like five hours of sleep, but it was good sleep because I was so tired. I was still. <laughs> I feel decent. It was solid sleep. Solid right, sleep. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad to see you guys made it. The car's still doing what it needs to do. We root for an eight today, yeah, buddy. Sure. Good luck. Here comes the Volvo with the inline six out of a Chevrolet Trailblazer. Here comes the Triumph, too. What an unconventional looking pair of cars right here. Good news. The driver of the Volvo is alert. He even asked what he ran for an ET, so his spirits are good. I'm sure he's a little messed up. The car has a legit cage in it, so he, ideally, if the cage did its job, he should be fine. Like I said, he's alert. He was talking to him. He asked what his ET was. The ambulances are here. I'm sure he will be going to the hospital to at least get checked out. I'm sure he's gonna be a little beat up, but he's alive, alert, and talking. All right, it looks like he's about to be pulled out on a stretcher here. The driver is alert and talking, but unfortunately it looks like they're gonna be taking him to the hospital. 
Um, I'm not gonna film them pulling him out, but they are about to put him onto a stretcher. If you guys watch yesterday's video, you'll know these guys rolled in the track with like 15, 20 minutes left to get in the lanes, make a pass and all that stuff. They put an engine block in it, changed it over to the rotating assembly, made it to the track, made a pass, and they are now here today. Let's go check it. You guys look tired. We are. How was the drive last night? It wasn't bad. No, it wasn't bad actually. Changed, we changed some, some stuff in the tune and it was running a lot cooler and made it. Very nice, very nice. What's the game plan today for you guys? I'm on an A to B pass, but we'll see what it does. We really not not even care it what it is at this point. We just finished. You just want, that's what I like to hear. That's just finishing is yes. the biggest accomplishment of the yes. Dragon Drive. Not everybody realizes that until they come do one of these. Yeah. So good luck we today, boys. We didn't finish Thank last you. year, so that's not oh un so un big, unacceptable. That's big year. accomplishment then. Yeah. All right, boys. Good luck today. Glad right. to see you guys made it. We'll see you up in the lanes. Sounds good. This car behind me is a 33 factory five car, so it's a kit car, but it's got twin turbos and LS and it's making some steam. I've meant to talk to him the past couple days, I haven't got around to it. I'm gonna chat with him right now. This your, is your rep right here? Yeah. I gotta talk to you about it, this thing's impressive. Yeah, you betcha. I, if I heard right, it's a, what, a 33 factory five car? That's right, yeah. Okay, what's the setup under the hood, what we got? Uh, so right now it's a full LSA long block, uh, put on a pair of twin Garrett uh, 62, 65, or sorry, 65, 68s, and a sheer fab air to water intercooler, and then I put a G-Force uh, faceplate T56 Magnum uh, behind it as well, so. Well, this thing's a freaking monster. When it leaves, and like, it just looks way faster than <laughs> Any 33 should really go, but I understand it's, it's got modern suspension, yeah. kit car, and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So with the with the kit car package itself, uh, this fall we actually uh, the factory five chassis wasn't sufficient for what we wanted to do, uh, so we ended up cutting it off at the firewall and we rebuilt the whole chassis oh. firewall back. So it's factory five till the firewall, and then it's all custom. Yeah. Back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's even more legit. What ETs are you running this week right now? Uh, we just put the package together. Uh, we came down here untested. I put 10 street miles on it. It had no passes. Uh, this week is the first time I've launched a stick car on the track. And our best pass so far is like a 921 at 151. This is the first time you ever so, launched a stick car at the track. That's right, yeah, we and tested. You're, you're here on day three, you haven't broke anything yet. Haven't broke nothing yet. That's impressive so. right there. And you're one of the Canadian guys that you brought betcha. all your stuff all the way to, you betcha. Yeah, 3,000 miles. That's freaking so. awesome. Okay, so, so this is the car. Yeah. This this and is the factory five. That's the trailer. This is the trailer. So this is this is what I take for my. Is there for a my trailer rule? Um, not Just anymore. Single, single it, axle. It used to be single axle. Uh, before I built it, I did uh, I did contact a few of the the Dragon Drive, uh, a few different ones. Uh, Rocky Mountain Race Week, our mom back home, and uh, and it, it fits the spirit of the event. Well, let's go take so, a peek at it just real quick. So we got so the back. We got a whole big mini fridge. We got a kitchenette. Yep. Yeah, you betcha. I got a uh, four cubic foot fridge. Uh, we got 10 gallons of water on board. Um, a dual propane stove. I uh, haven't used that one too much this week because we're working with the Traeger. So there's always uh, come around lunchtime, you can get yourself a burger, or maybe some smoky, something like that. So You brought a, a smoker? Absolutely. So the, okay, let's, yeah, keep, let's absolutely. keep going around. This trailer is huge. Is this this has got to be bigger than the car? It is, yeah. It's a little bit bigger than the car. <laughs> okay, you guys, so, sleeping quarters up front. Sleeping quarters up front. It's a full queen size bed. Uh, it's got air conditioning uh, up there. Uh, a couple, uh, a couple of those rough roads kind of knocked my AC out a little bit on the way down, actually. But uh, it still works. I just got to set it back up in place. So you brought probably the biggest trailer to drag and drive this well, year. Well. Maybe close. There's some big ones out there, but uh, but I okay I, proportionally for to the car. Yeah. I'd say you probably brought the biggest. Yeah, one. that's 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 fair. That's fair. Thanks for showing me the trailer. So, Good luck today. Man. Thank you very much. Oh,
43. Hey! You're putting in work. All right, please. I talked to you yesterday. And you said I need a 675, and that's exactly what the hell you yeah. did yesterday. What are we doing today? Call your shot. 649. So, okay, okay. Sorry to hear about McFlurry. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but that sucks. Yeah, she just started rattling. Motor is making some bottom end sounds. Oh. So I don't know if we stretched like a, you know, rod bolt or something like that. So it's hard to say. Gotcha. But. We're uh, we're not that bummed about it. I mean, it's what it is. It's just one of the, like the car did it was so incredible. We have nothing to be upset about. So we're just gonna continue on our weekend. Have some fun. All right, buddy. All Good right. luck. Six forty nine. Thanks, buddy. See ya. See ya. Please pull it up here for their first pass of the day. a 40 or a 90 that top section of bulb on where the four was is unfortunately burnt out so I don't know what that is right now here comes Social Security at the Crown Vic than he probably wants, but good looking pass. Just got word that 53 cars are now out of competition before racing started today. 53 competitors are broke and can't make it. That's how tough this is, right? So we started with 323, I think, ish cars, and we are 53 down from that. So under 200, 280, right? 270, something like that. So we've lost 53 competitors. This is not the easiest thing in the world. Even though it might look easy to some of these people in the video, not easy. It's Mr. Richard himself here to make his first pass of the day in his stick shift GTO. All the way here from Canada, he actually drove this car from where he lives in Canada. Burnt out. Uh, so. Anything under nine was good. Heck yeah, it is. That's a really good one. We got Ben. Ben is coming up in his Toyota Cresta. And came all the way from Australia just to do this event.
Titus is not having a good sick week. So McFlurry is out as of last night. Unfortunately, it got some bottom end noise. I think they broke it pretty badly, so McFlurry is out. He got here, he made a pass, and he broke mullet as well. So not a good day for them. I'm sure he's pretty upset. Definitely not having a good week. But that's Dragon Drives. You don't know how far you're gonna get. You just try as hard as you can. You, you pray you make it throughout the week. Right, we got this snot rocket up here. Let's take it back to a day for him. saw you guys were on the side of the road. Yep. Obviously things got better. What oh, yeah. ended up happening? So we ended up uh, stopping the O'Reilly's, pulling the axle back out. Okay. Only had like four ball bearings that you could see in there. Oh no! So we thought we'd make it to MPD. We filled it just with a grease gun, just filled it just to at least have some grease in it. Okay. Put the retainer back in. Made it the eight miles down, what, eight or nine miles down the back road. And then from there, uh, pulled the axle back out, got a bearing, and then 12 o'clock last night, went 40 miles. Uh, to a shop, to, yeah, to endless, and then to a shop, pressed the bearing on, came back, installed it, and then we got to Valdosta 4:30 a.m. Don't you guys just love dragon drives? Oh my gosh, they answered our race call, uh, our help call, and on Facebook, and it was amazing. It's just dragon drives are awesome. I know that sucked last night and everything, oh, yeah. especially when it's happening, but it was worth it, wasn't it? Oh yeah. There you go. You guys going to right. make passes now? Yes. Yep. Yes, All sir. right. Good luck to you. All right. Thank you. Beautiful Mustang. If you guys haven't seen yesterday's video, we actually caught them on the way here from Bradington to where, where are we at? It, it's only day three and I don't know where we're at. From Bradington to South Georgia Motorsports Park, they were pulled over. Their bearing just basically exploded. They had to replace that and they didn't get in until 4 30 in the morning. Six forty-six. Six forty-six. Six forty-six. Yeah, two hundred and eighteen miles. You're an really hour. consistent in this thing. I hope yeah. you know that. Yeah. So still number one overall. Yep. I'm guessing you're happy with that. You're gonna pack her up and go. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna pack it up and go. I'm even more happy that uh, my fellow Swede didn't get a clean pass. <laughs> he didn't get a clean pass? No. So he has a six ninety-nine right now, and then yeah. the one he went up there, he did not a good pass. No. Though. Exactly. Gotcha. gotcha. Well, so, um, congrats. Besides for him, but it's good for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, congrats. Still number one overall. We'll yep. see you in Gainesville tomorrow, yep. buddy. Thank you. See ya. All right, so the Swedes in the pickup truck, number one overall still somewhere in the 640 range. Somewhere in the 640 range is their, is their average over the last three tracks. They still have to finish. So they still have to go to Gainesville, and then they go back to Orlando. If they don't do that, they don't win. So the key here is you have to finish the week to win.
last time I saw you was in Orlando, and you didn't have a back window. Uh, the back window. What did we do? What was the fix? Uh, we found there was a guy, one of the uh, sick ward guys, came over, said his friend Doug had a window, and if he couldn't find it, someone, one of his friends could. Doug sent us to Tony. Tony. Tony sent us to another Tony, and the second Tony sent us to the third Tony that we got the window at. So once that happened, we ended up blowing a head gasket. <laughs> you just had a bad whole bad uh, day going on. There. So my partner Ray, he changed the head gaskets. We got to, we got to the hotel 3:45 in the morning. Jeez. Once that's all done, the electric water pump died. So we had to go to Titan Motorsports. We got one at 10 o'clock yesterday morning. We pulled in the gates at 2:59 yesterday. Jeez. Raced like hell to get here, and we just made it just in time, one minute before they closed the lanes. How was the drive last night for you guys? I mean, it really wasn't that bad. It was long. But, oh yeah, for sure. But we didn't have any issues finally. That's good. That's good. Well, I'm glad to see you have a back. Was the window required to keep making passes? Yeah, I mean, the only way they were going to let me run, maybe at the end if I didn't have the window, but if any competition, there's no way I was going to gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 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 I'm glad to see you made it. I didn't know you had so many struggles on the road oh, man, man. the first couple days. Listen, if it wasn't for Ray, we wouldn't even be here right now. Well, glad to hear that I mean, the that guy, Drive community came together for you. Yeah, he really did. So. Z4 Corvette coming up for another pass. Same with Brett and the Snot Rocket. Take a crack again. All right, what are we doing? We're gonna try to make a pass finally. We haven't <laughs> ran all day. I know. What do you guys been doing over there? Waiting for them to call our class. Okay. What are we doing today? Hopefully, make a full pass without shutting off. Just A to B. A to B. Hopefully, it's a seven something. I'd be happy if it just went A to B. Okay. <laughs> just something you could turn in. Just something. All right, Royce. Good luck, man. You bet. Loudest thing on the property, by far. Always gonna get there. Seven thirteen, I believe that is one ninety-three. He said something with a seven, right? So we're good. We're, we went, yeah, we went good. We're happy. Happy. Okay. Shouldn't tire it pretty hard, but it still went. I, yeah, it's not, I heard you pedal. I wasn't up there, but I heard you pedal it. Yeah, I had pedal a couple times, but it went. I was expecting it to die because it died on the burnout. You guys are the crazy ones that swap entire blowers between tracks. Yes, sir. So All right, we got a big block set. We have a 1471 on top, and this is your race blower. Yeah, it's a stripped high helix blower, and it has Teflon strips on the, on the that is helix of the rotors. Okay. And so driving on the street, everything just makes heat, and it just it would just melt them and probably seize the blower. Okay. Because the tolerance is really tight. Okay. What's the difference between this blower and your street blower? The other one's so loose that you could throw a cat through it, probably. <laughs> it is, it's pretty loose. So yeah, it just it's just to keep air in the in the runners because the runners are so short on a blower manifold that it's hard to street drive. But gotcha. we figure out how to do it. How long does it take you guys to get from race trim to street? 45 minutes or so. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. See, last time I tried to get you guys one time with the blower off, it was like my thing, and I didn't. Don't think I got it a single time. I'll be back in 10 minutes, 15, and the blower will be off, you right? Probably, you should probably do 10. Okay. If you can. I'm gonna miss it. I know I'm gonna you miss it, but like first things we do. Get this off. But it's got cool down, so you got 10 minutes. Okay. So I'm gonna set a timer. I'll be back. Yeah. Well, I want to see this without a blower. Okay. All right, guys. Scott Montgomery right here. I was told by Rick Hawk and Parcel off that he had his truck and trailer stolen. So it's still missing, but regardless, he's out here doing this event.
So this vet behind me, I just found out that these guys are making passes, going track to track to track, and on day one in Orlando, their truck and trailer got stolen, and they still decided, screw it, we're still doing sick week. I gotta talk to you. I just heard this story. I gotta go talk to this guy. This is your vet? That's me. Okay, I have to talk to you, because I All heard... Right. Unfortunately, your truck and trailer got stolen? They did. Right? Okay, at Orlando? Uh, not at the track, okay. but at a hotel in uh, Titusville. Okay. Because we want to stay over there for the SpaceX launch. So we're staying at a nice hotel. Literally, wasn't going to unload the car from the trailer because we didn't know if the weather was going to be good or not. Decided after the launch at like 12, 10 in the morning or 1, 12 in the morning to unload the car. And um, I'm glad I did. So... Uh, my truck and trailer, we moved around the corner. We blocked a couple of cars in with two other trucks and trailers. And I woke up in the morning at uh, like 540, uh -huh. 545, and gone. And you still decided we're here for sick week. Doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I got a car to drive, so might as well drive it. Yeah. I feel for you. So that, that's got to. Nor I was like normally people start the week worrying about making it through the week. Mm -hmm. We decided we just lost a truck and trailer. We're still here to have a good time. Let's have a good time. I mean, I did. I filed the police report, did the insurance claim, came down, went through check. You know, and we're here. So, cars just made the best pass it's ever made on a new combo. The fourth pass on this combo, so I'm pretty happy. Give me a picture, and okay. we'll pull it in this video. I will. Okay. And maybe somebody might see it. Last okay. time you saw it was Titesville. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, yes, I'm glad sir. You Thanks, did Fred. Your, I'm glad you did your PB. Yep. I'll get that. I'll get that picture or whatever okay. afterwards, and we'll put it in the video. All yes, right? sir. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. The picture on the screen right now is the truck and trailer in question. If you're in the Florida area, Titusville is where it was last seen. If you're in the Florida area, you see it. Contact the police immediately. Try to help this racer out. He's trying to have a good week. He's staying as positive as he possibly can be. But at the end of the week, he's down a truck and trailer and still has to get home somehow. So if you see it, please contact the authorities immediately. Thank you. All right, guys, last car going on the track right now is the C4 Corvette from Sweden. He's made three passes today. He has a 655 that he can turn in, but he wants to get a faster pass so he can get that much closer to the S10. So every time these guys make it to a track or want to leave a track, they have to take the one blower off and put the whole other one on. It's a joke because last sick week I was like, I'm going to come over and I'm going to film you guys taking the blower off or putting it back on. Every single time they did it, I missed it by like two minutes. They said, come back in 10 minutes, we'll have it off. I came back in 10 minutes and all the studs were ready to go and they just took it off. So I got to see it this week finally and so did you guys. All right, like, I was here one time for this. <laughs> that was like a record. You guys said come history. back in. You said come back in ten minutes. I came back in ten minutes. Right you guys were right there. Yeah, right there. All right, boys, get her, uh, get her wrapped up. We're gonna go in a minivan. We have air conditioning, all that nice oh, stuff. Sweet creature comforts and whatnot. When it gets cold tonight, we'll have the heat on. Yeah. <laughs> Full blast, of course. <laughs> Doesn't have a fan mode. <laughs> All right, boys, we will see you in Gainesville, all right? All right, see you, Fred. See ya. Thanks, guys. Quick update before we get on the road. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw it in the video earlier, but Cletus broke. Not sure exactly what he did, but there's a whole pile of oil or some sort of fluid underneath mullet right now. I haven't seen Cletus in a while, uh, so unfortunately he is out. Mick Flurry broke last night on the drive, and Cletus broke today in mullet, making a pass. So not a good day for them, but I had to give you guys the update. I'm sure you guys want to know what's going on with Cletus. He broke, so there you go. All of us got to get on the road. We got about four, three or four hour drive to Gainesville. We'll show you guys all the cars on the road, all the racers will meet up. We have a couple checkpoints that we got to hit. We're gonna get on the road here in a couple minutes. Yeah, just streetcar things. When you 
not to sit on the back of your trailer to go off of bucks. I do what you gotta do. You do, man. Why it's important to have a good co pilot. So we made it pretty far here. Yeah, I mean. Right now, real quick, I wanna say something. You guys, I need you to hear this, okay? Because it's 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 pretty Good. funny. So, you guys, this car can do a quarter mile pass and faster than it can go over a set of railroad tracks or a speed, speed bump. bump. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. My, my number one cross member is about this high off the ground to make. So, it... so what's the weight balance that you have to sit on the back? How's Mechanical that? Mechanical leverage. It picks yeah. up. It picks up the ass into the car. We gained four inches of ground clearance with his uh, his butt on the back of the trailer. <laughs> Oh, they're laughing, they're laughing. Oh, is that the 1320, guys? It is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up, man? What's, what, up, man? What, what's the issue? This thing hates the daytime. Oh, really? It's just running hot or oh, what? Yeah. Gotcha. We strapped the hood to the roof last night. I mean, hey, it worked last night, but it's still too early. Gotcha. You guys just kind of just letting it cool off and kind of going slow today? I'm trying to. I'm trying. Oh, wait, how long? If it took a while last night, how long did it take you guys to get to we got South Georgia? We got to the hotel at 3 in the morning. Oh, I was, geez, I was like, wait, if it took you a while last night, yeah, 3, three in, the morning, in the morning. 3 in the morning, and then on top of that, the hotel bangs on our door this morning at 7, 5, 7 45. Hey, you need to move your car because you're parked under the canopy out front of the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, thanks, guys. We right. really need a couple hours of sleep. We're good. All right, pulling up to the O'Reilly's. There are a bunch of racers here. This isn't a checkpoint, but I guess for racers, it might as well be. Ooh, 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 there's the bear cars. There's the bear cars. Let's go over there. Oi, oi, oi. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Love that shit. <laughs> All right, what'd you break? What'd you do? No. Excessive just... boost. Tru Ex shooting. Excessive boost? <laughs> crank pressure, or crankcase pressure, blowing oil out. Gotcha. Going back to the 1970s, just see if it's just come out of the blue wire. I feel like that's that that's yeah. that's where you're comfortable right there, yeah. 1970s. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> We're gonna disco here in a little while. <laughs> there you go. What is what is on top of? We're fixing it with the peanut butter. You have favorite? organic peanut butter for no reason on top of your blower. Hold on, hold on. Are you just eating that oh, out the jar, buddy? No, man. There's a reason, man. Uh huh. Why you got to tune the machine, man. It will be what do you got? You're not you're not this taking is, raw carrots and putting them in. This is for you. In, no. This is 1320 special right there, man. You're putting peanut butter in raw carrots. I ain't eating it. Oh, why? Why are we doing this? It's what for dinner. That's not okay. That's fair. <laughs> you guys are good though. Gonna get on the road here, please. Yes, sir. Just a little. That's brand new motor. Gotcha. All right, we made it to the first checkpoint. It is Billy Bonds. Yeah. All right, fellas, what's the situation? Ah, uh, oh, 1320s hey, here. We are good. We are good. This car are you lying fun. to me so I'll walk away? This, I will keep, I'll keep talking. Okay. <laughs> this, this is a vampire car. Okay. It's the nighttime. Okay. Once it's dark, we just ran here, no problem. Once we saw you guys on the side of the road, right. made it off the exit, we've been driving since. Gotcha. So, so you're just checking it over. Well, yeah, he's like, yes, yes. that's I it. Actually, I actually went to high school with her and this other guy over here. Did you just find so, them on the road randomly? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Well, they've, they've done drag and drives. They've done drag week and sick week last gotcha. year. Gotcha. Like, ah, I want to do it. So here we are, and we met up with them out here again. So it's cool. Nice. I'm glad you guys made it. The first checkpoint. We have what? One more checkpoint after this? One more. We're going to uh, Sunny's Barbecue, and then I'm going to the house for the night since I live close by. Oh, that's. <laughs> just, I'm jealous. I'm gonna walk away from you. You're gonna be in your own bed tonight. So many racers have made it to the first checkpoint, which is a good sign. Nobody's really working on their stuff, which is another good sign. They're just kind of hanging out, getting their pictures, and getting back on the road. Oh, we're driving down the road, and we see Royce in a gas station. Big crowd, bunch of people, and they're working on it. <laughs> Bryce, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, we're swapping the blower. Shut up. What, do you, what are you doing? You just missed it. Shut up! No, you no. Yeah, you it. Clean, cleaning up a mess. That's a lot of damn speed for a six Alternator. 
kind of quit working and kept killing fans on my way trying to see how far I could go and yeah. this is about as far as I felt comfortable and I looked underneath to see if I had a belt on it anymore and when I looked underneath this thing was covered in oil oh <laughs> like I got bigger problems well, it's leaking there. I'm not sure. Look like everywhere. Oil, Fred. Just about everywhere. <laughs> Shut up, Jason. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. So what are you doing up here? Just making sure. Are you doing anything? Is he doing everything? You're just acting busy? I'm what? just acting busy so I don't get asked to do something. That's that, that's smart. That's honestly. what the hair's for. I just got I got picked up in Albuquerque. We'll work for food, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. I love how they have to put that all right, so is this gonna fix all your issues? This will fix everything. Oh, perfect. We're good to go. Then. All right, check, checkpoint number two of day three. It's kind of a pick your own adventure type thing. You can either go to KSR, which is where we went, or a barbecue place. So we went to KSR because they build race cars here. Looks like we got a lot of trailer burnouts in that we were not here for. Some wild things on your dragon drives. There's a fan out here that brought his Silverado with a K24 under the hood. Check this out. Oh, yeah. I think Matt posted this on our social media. Yeah. So, why did you do this? Oh, uh, I just wanted something different. I, that's all the reason you need yeah. right there. Yeah. What kind of power? It's a K24. K24. In a what year? Uh, it's a 98. 98 Silverado. Yeah, Silverado. And what kind of power is it making? Probably four on like. 15, 16 pounds. All right, guys, KSR was our last checkpoint for the night. Second checkpoint and last checkpoint. We're gonna go to the hotel, it's about 10 minutes away. As always, subscribe and hit that bell so you get a notification every time we drop a video this week. It'll be daily videos every day, and we still got two more days of this. So subscribe, hit that bell. We'll see you in the next one.